temperature coefficient of resistance definition a temperature coefficient describes the relative change of a physical property that is associated with a given change in temperature the resistance change factor per degree celsius of temperature change is called the temperature coefficient of resistance this factor is represented by alpha a positive coefficient for a material means that its resistance increases with an increase in temperature how to calculate the tcr is calculated as the average slope of the resistance value over an appropriate temperature range this is accurate for linear relations since the tcr is constant at every temperature temperature coefficient of resistance is the calculation of a relative change of resistance per degree of temperature change it is measured in ppm per degree celsius and is defined as tcr equal to r2 minus r1 upon r1 into t2 minus t1 importance usually the temperature affects the resistance and electrical resistivity of all materials further when there is a change in electrical resistance it has a great bearing on different electrical and electronic circuits there could also be instances where we will witness significant changes due to this factor the temperature coefficient of resistance is an important topic that we should understand in many electrical applications a to find the temperature coefficient of resistance of a given coil apparatus carry foster bridge resistance box lead accumulator jockey one way key and galvanometer and connecting wires wheat stone bridge a wheat stone bridge it is used to compare resistances and can also be used to determine the unknown resistance in the electrical circuit network a wheat stone bridge is also known as a resistance bridge this is useful to calculate the unknown resistance by balancing the two legs of the bridge circuit in which one leg includes the component of the unknown resistance thus the circuit it contains four resistors two known resistors one unknown resistor as well as one variable resistor all of which are connected in the form of a bridge this device is very reliable as it gives the accurate measurements as we can see in the diagram the wheat stone bridge has four resistance r1 r2 r3 and r4 a source voltage it is connected to the battery arm ac and the other two diagonally opposite points b and d are connected to a galvanometer the arrangement of the resistors through which the current in the galvanometer is zero is known as a balanced bridge so wheat stone bridge and the balanced condition it is used to determine the value of the unknown resistors applying the kirchhoff's junction rule in the circuit at the junction d the incoming current i1 is equals to the outgoing current i3 and there is no current flowing through the galvanometer similarly at the junction b the incoming current i2 is equal to the outgoing current i4 also applying the kirchhoff's voltage rule in the two loops first a d b a we get the equation i1 by i2 equals to r2 by r1 and similarly applying kvl in the loop c b d c we are going to get the equation i1 by i2 is equals to r4 upon r3 if we equate the equations 3 and 4 then we can derive the equation r2 by r1 is equals to r4 upon r3 assuming that the unknown resistance is r4 we can easily find its value by using the formula r2 into r r3 into r2 upon r1 carrier foster bridge 
the carrier foster bridge it is an electrical circuit used to measure the medium value of resistance or resistances which are nearly equal in their values the construction of a carrier foster bridge is similar to that of a wheatstone bridge which consists of four arms in which two resist in which four resistances are connected carrier foster bridge is a modification made on the wheatstone bridge and it also works on the same principle which is null deflection so as we can see in the diagram the two low resistances p and q are connected in the inner gaps and the known resistance x and the unknown resistance y they are connected in the outer gaps a 1 meter long resistance wire ef of uniform cross section is soldered to the ends of the two copper strips a galvanometer g it is connected in between the terminal b and the jockey d a lead accumulator and a one way key it is connected in series with the ter in the terminals a and c now we derive formula for temperature coefficient of resistance as we can see in this diagram equal resistance p and q are connected in inner gaps and standard resistance r and unknown resistance x are connected in outer gap here small a and b are per unit length bridge wire resistance so as we can see r and a and x and b are connected in series by moving jockey or sliding contact on a slide wire we can get exact point at c so l1 is the distance of sliding contact from point a and the total length l is 100 cm by wisten's principle r plus a plus l1 rho divided by x plus b plus 100 minus l1 rho equals to p by q in the next step the resistance x and r are interchange and this time balance is obtained by sliding the contact at point d and at a distance of l2 from point a so again p by q equals to x plus a plus l2 rho divided by r plus b plus 100 minus l2 rho by comparing these two equations we get x equals to r plus rho l1 minus l2 let l1 desk and l2 desk r the balancing length when this experiment is done with the standard resistance r in place of capital r and a thick copper strip of zero resistance in place of x in above equation we get rho equals to r divided by l1 desk minus l2 desk here rho is the resistivity if x1 and x2 are the resistance of coil at temperature t1 celsius and t2 celsius the temperature coefficient of resistance is given by equation alpha equals to x2 minus x1 divided by x1 into t2 minus x2 into t1 there is a two type of temperature coefficient first is a positive and second is a negative in the positive temperature coefficient resistivity and resistance is increased when the temperature raised the temperature coefficient of metal is a positive in negative temperature coefficient resistivity and resistance is decrease when the temperature is raised here are some material and its temperature coefficient is shown now we are going to find out what is the temperature coefficient of the resistance so what is the value of alpha the beaker is getting heated up you have an unknown resistor so usually it's a coil of wire and we don't know the resistor of that coil in the lab we take the copper wire we take that wire and we put it in a hot water bath there is a test tube which is having oil and that test tube is placed in a hot water bath with copper wire in the lab we don't heat up directly we heat up water separately place the hot water wherever you are doing the experiment and dip the test tube with the oil in the hot water so it's in the reverse way that we do so let's see in the virtual lab first select unknown resistor then make all the connections 
by connecting these wires So now we have made all the connection as per the given diagram. Now resistor length is 10 cm. So resistor diameter is set to 0.2 mm. Let's take as it is where whatever is given directly without sliding it. Let's go to the third slider which is the temperature. So it starts at 25 and goes up to 100. So both resistors are set to 10 ohms. And fractional resistor is set to 0.1 ohm. So you have the option of giving the result directly so that you can actually cross check as you do in the calculation. Now let's check the galvanometer to know whether the connections are correct or not. Let's move the jockey to the other end. So it's showing negative value. So connections are correct. So now let's slide the jockey over the wire to know where there is zero deflection. By sliding it. So the first balancing length is 51 centimeter. Now reverse the connection and slide the jockey. Find out where you got zero deflection. So the second balancing length is 49 centimeter. Note down these lengths. Repeat the same steps for different temperatures. Here is the observation table of this experiment. In this observation table, by using known resistance, we measure length L1 and L2. And using length L1 and L2, here we find the resistivity by formula rho equals to R by L1 minus L2. And after that, we find the resistance X1 and X2 which are the resistance of a coil at a temperature T1 degree Celsius and T2 degree Celsius. Here we find X1 and X2 by using formula X equals to R plus rho into L1 minus L2. You can see here we measure X1 and X2 for a different temperatures like a 25 degree Celsius, 30 degree Celsius up to 70 degree Celsius. The resistance factor per degree Celsius of the temperature change is called the temperature coefficient of the resistance. This factor is represented by the Greek lower gas letter alpha. And here we calculate temperature coefficient of resistance by using formula alpha equals to x2 minus x1 by x1 t2 minus x2 t1 and here is the graph of this practical by this graph we can say that resistance is a linearly increases with a temperature and the slope of this graph gives the value of the temperature coefficient in a general a positive coefficient for a material means that it's Resistance increases with an increase in temperature. Pure metals typically have a positive temperature coefficient of the resistance. Coefficients approaching zero can be obtained by allowing certain metals. Here we also get a positive coefficients. A negative coefficients for a material means that its resistance decreases with an increase in a temperature. Semiconductor materials like carbon, silicon, germanium typically have a negative temperature coefficients of a resistance. Here in this experiment, we also get a very small and positive value of alpha. And here is the conclusion of this experiment. 
we can find the temperature coefficient in the experiment it has been proven that resistance and temperature is directly proportional with each other one of the reason is that the change in the temperature affects the motion of the atoms then the resistance increasing the temperature will excite the atoms of the materials making it to travel greater distance creating number of collisions between charge and carries atoms in the materials because of this resistance will increase as well